being on the stage, the, the, the amount of training we have had, you know, the city party, I, I was very fortunate. In fact, he came to, to uh, uh, no, I talked to him before that, but it, I think it was when he came to Soldier's Play. And he said, you're good. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and, and wow. I, I got a part in a movie in 1986. I called it the nigga they couldn't kill. Oh. Yeah, it, he was supposed to be, uh, <laughs> he raped a white woman, and they, they, they tried to electrocute him, but it didn't work. <laughs> And he became sort of a, a cult Cena? hero. No, not that one. That was the other the awful one. But and then they tried to hang him, and they tried to do all this stuff. And I had a lot of training day in me. And there, some, there were some uh, Jewish people in the in the in the audition, and, and I said, yeah. They said, no. It's funny. It's like they hang him, and then they can't. I said, yeah. Like you bring some Jewish people into a room, and you and you they think it's a shower, but it's gas. Oh. And they said, right. I said, right, that ain't funny. Mm. So to me, it wasn't funny about putting a rope around my right. MF and neck <laughs> either. I made a point. The guy was like, who the hell was this little nigga talking, <laughs> talking like this? So anyway, make a long story long. <laughs> I, I called Sydney and I was sick because he told me to call him. If I, you know, I called, I was, I said, man, they offered me $600,000 to play the nigga you, they, they couldn't kill. And he said, I'm not going to tell you what to do. He said, I'm not going to tell you that, Denzel. He says, but I can tell you this. The first two or three or four films you do in this business will dictate how you're perceived in yes. this business. Mm -hmm. So you make a decision. You know, he didn't tell me what to do, and I give him credit for that. And I turned it down, and six months later, I got Cry Freedom uh. and got an Oscar nomination. So... It could have gone an entirely, you know, you, ne you never know. Mm -hmm. It could have gone, my whole yes, career could have gone an entirely different way. Well, a different way. Okay, yeah. Miss Davis? And all the Jewish people now, I mean, <laughs> just making a point. But I was dead serious about yeah. that because they were laughing. Everything. Like, oh, no, it's mm -hmm. funny. They electrocute them, and then they, yeah. I could just see the poster with me with a rope around my neck. <laughs> you know, that's, I just had dreams about it. Like, I have a question. <laughs> that wacky guy they tried to kill. <laughs>